Time now for our Save Big Money at Menards Fox feature, the historic scoreboard of Wrigley Field. It's been one of the most recognizable icons in the history of the Cubs. Millions of fans have seen it, but few know what it looks like from inside until now. Jake Hamilton from Good Day Chicago got the chance to climb up into that piece of Cubs history. I hear and feel the game mostly, you know, I hear the cheers and then I hear the booze and, you know, you hear the sound. Game over! You can tell if it's up or down. That's basically how I watch Cubs game. I just hear it and feel it, you know. The board shakes actually when the crowds are cheering and stomping, you can feel the rumble. Someone once wrote, how can you not be romantic about baseball? It's a game of great triumph, of bitter tragedy, and from time to time, the most unexpected ironies. Meet Daryl Wilson. For 25 years, he's had the best view in all of baseball. And very rarely does he ever get to see it. I never get a chance to watch the Cubs game, you know. <laughs> so most of the time, I'm just running from the second to third floor, yelling out scores. The historic scoreboard of Wrigley Field. Not just a symbolic staple of the Cubs, but all of baseball. Built in 1937, it may have undergone a change or two in its eight-decade history, but it stood as one of the few comfortable constants of the friendly confines. And inside is a man. Since 1991, Daryl has been that man. The guys before me were here maybe 30 years, you know, back in the 60s, I guess. Pretty much everything's been the same, you know, from the guy that taught me to retire and moved on, and probably the guy that taught him. Daryl doesn't have much time to reminisce about history. He's responsible for manually changing and updating dozens of scores across the American and National Leagues. While that information used to be frenetically printed out on a sports ticker, he now accesses it through a continuously updating website on a computer. This is set up just like the scoreboard, so when I see a score on there, I'll just write it down and then just run to the second, third, first floor to put the scores in. Scattered across the three-story stretch of history are sharp metal numbers and letters, a vast alphabet of athleticism that he's constantly picking up and putting down. And if the never-ending updates don't kill you, the heat might. Inside the scoreboard is, on average, 10 to 20 degrees hotter than it is outside. But you'll never hear Daryl complain. He's as much a part of Wrigley nostalgia as the game itself. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you might even catch a quick glimpse of him. Well, sometimes I'll peek out and a couple guys catch me and they'll wave and I'll wave back. But it's like on a small angle because as, as, as soon as I get a score change, I gotta hurry up and flip it and come back to the laptop because there's another score going on. Millions of people have seen the Cubs play at Wrigley, but few have ever seen it like Daryl does. It's hard to imagine the novelty ever wearing off because from his ironically busy perch, Daryl Wilson has witnessed history, a game of great triumph and bitter tragedy. It's enough to make you wonder, how can you not be romantic about baseball? We want to thank Daryl for taking the time to talk with Jake and to the Cubs organization as well for letting us get inside that scoreboard. You spent a lot of time at Wrigley Field as a beer vendor and then a writer with the Daily Herald. Give me your best Wrigley scoreboard story. Uh, probably the best one I can think of is uh, late 1990. Remember Jerry Royce? I think he pitched of for the White Sox. For yeah. Pitched for a lot of teams. He was with Pittsburgh. Pirates. It was late in September 1990. It was the end of his career. He was touring the stadiums, every one that he went to. And before a game, he actually came up to the press box in full uniform. And there was nobody else in the press box. I was there. I was talking to him. I said, where are you going now? He said, I'm going to the scoreboard. I said, I'm going with you. That was my only tour of the scoreboard. That's when I saw it. Uh, it was a different place then. It looks pretty nice now. Back then, there were rats the size of cats. So uh, it looks like they've cleaned it up to me pretty much. I love it. I love it.